wanted to talk about um, kind of upper body posture. So I'm going to show you four little uh, soft, I guess, self myofascial release uh, type movements and uh, two uh, dynamic base mobility movements that you could do literally uh, in your office, uh, in your house, uh, whether you do it prior to a workout, after a workout, or at any time of the day. Uh, literally all you need is a tennis ball and a wall. But I guess um, just to kind of give a, a little bit of an overarching um, uh, focus here of what I'm trying to, I guess the benefit of what I'm about to do is with respects to shoulder posture. So whether you have uh, rounded shoulders, uh, if you sit at a desk all day, or you have tight upper traps, so up at the top of the shoulders, tight upper back, or even uh, tight neck muscles, uh, these four X uh, movements are certainly going to be of great benefit to you. Uh, and again, like I said, they're not uh, necessarily skilled movements. It's just, uh, as I say with all type of uh, mobility um, exercises, is that number one rule is just consistency. If you can do it um, you know, as frequent as possible, uh, most days of the week, believe me, you should notice a difference with respect to just how you are carrying yourself with your upper body posture, you not know, slouched with the round shoulders or forward neck, um, because this will actually aid in um, getting your shoulders actually kind of push back into natural neutral position uh, and also with kind of a, a natural neck position. So first uh, two that I'm going to do, these are called self myofascial releases, SMR. It's just basically like a cheap name for, um, or cheap massage, I guess if you will, cheap man's massage. So taking a ball, finding a flat wall, like I said, you can do this in the house or certainly in your office. A harder ball, a softer ball for those that uh, might find a fair bit of discomfort with this and then of course as you progress uh, maybe changing to like a lacrosse ball or even a golf ball which would certainly be a bit more advanced because it's able to get in a little bit deeper into the soft tissue and the fascia and thing. So taking the ball basically for a lot of individuals that have kind of rounded, uh, rounded shoulders um, just kind of literally coming in about an inch from your armpit just inside of the armpit if you kind of dig your fingers in through. Uh, you'll see the attachment obviously of your shoulder socket, but of course you've got your attachments of your pec and I won't go into detail on you know which muscles, but you should almost find a tenderness spot. And if you don't with this, you may find with the finger, you might just find with the ball. So you literally just lean up to the ball. The other hand, it might be hard to see, is just extended out on the wall. And then you're just going to literally press your whole body in to the ball and just kind of find that hot spot. Once you find that hot spot, obviously hold for three to five seconds. But just what you want to be doing, there's no set order, there's no set, I guess, direction of the ball. Just everything. Work around until you find those nasty spots. So you could be doing, you know, circles in uh, both directions. You could do a figure eights, uh, side to side, up, down. But just, you know, make sure you kind of work around until you feel the hot spots. Because one area you might feel nothing and another area you might. So, you know, really kind of fool around with it until you get it. And really work that specifically, the pec minor, um, to kind of... Um, assist with breaking up all those adhesions and certainly the, uh, the tension within the, the fascia primarily and then certainly through the tendon and the muscle. So that's through your pec, of course both sides. You know usually uh, 30 to 60 seconds depending on how tight you are and then just placing the ball just not on the back part right here in the meat part of your shoulder but just again kind of uh, come about an inch um, from the line of your armpit almost you almost just feel a notch. Um, just on the outside of your shoulder blade. And again, you'll feel it, believe me, you'll feel it. So just move, and then once you kind of get through there, a good way for this particular one, when we're talking about your rotator cuff and the muscles of the scapula, just have your arm about 90 degrees and have your hand up through here, and just again, work around. Both directions, up, down, figure eights. Find that hot spot. For me, it's a little bit more medial. For you, it might be a little bit more outside, lateral part of your uh, upper back. And then, to kind of bring in, you can also get really deep through the muscles of the rotator cuff by just literally keeping your elbow on the wall and you're just going to bring your arm from a vertical position straight back down. And as you do that, the ball will kind of get right in uh, into kind of the, uh, some of the, the joint sockets through the, sh the shoulder blades, the upper back. It just exposes certain muscles when you do um, the arm movement. You don't have to, but to me it's a little bit more advanced from that side. So those are, um, and of course both sides again, you know, 30 to 60 seconds. And then what we would like to do is just promote good posture, so good positioning of your shoulder blades. So stand pretty well as close as you can, a couple of inches uh, from the wall, and you're just gonna have your hands in a Y. So when you put your hands up, it literally should resemble uh, the letter Y from behind you. So just kind of start with your hands kind of pointing out in a way at about shoulder height, 
and then you're just going to reach as far as you can towards the ceiling then you're going to shrug up and then from there okay you're really just going to keep your arms locked you're going to draw those shoulder blades down and back so again i'm from a shrug position and then i'm just going to draw my shoulder blades down and back i haven't lowered my arms at all they're staying kind of vertical and up i'm just locking my shoulder blades down and back and then from there i'm going to push my arms away from the wall so and then i push them back and then you repeat so again just start bring your hands all the way up as far as they can go up plus a shrug and then from there you just lock your shoulder blades down and back so think about putting your shoulder blades in your back pocket from there now your shoulder blades are in perfect position and you're just going back from the wall so that position eight to ten reps is really good but all you're trying to do is tell your shoulder blades and the muscles certainly the lower end the lower traps mid traps because they're pretty well underactive and so for most people that have poor posture office position or tight neck shoulder muscles usually their upper traps and the neck muscles are way overactive and that's what's causing a lot of stiffness and pain for a lot of you so what you need to do is certainly strengthen those kind of lower mid back muscles and this is a great exercise for that so that's a good strengthening mobility exercise for the shoulder blade muscles and then finally the last one which is a you know an exercise rehabilitative but um, it's what i classify as old classic shoulder range of motion exercise just line up against the wall your feet should be about you know maybe about a six seven inches off the wall so you should be technically leaning on the wall so don't have your feet all the way to the wall so lean into the wall then your arms go up like you're being robbed head chin is kind of pushed you know chin is level head is all the way back to the wall try to keep your back as flat as you can to the wall and then from there have your arms you know wrists uh, and, and well, as much as you can with your hands. And then basically, you just like you're kind of making a snow angel. You're just going up and back. Up as high as you can go and back. And what you're trying to do is, as you do this motion, is you're trying to keep everything as flat to that wall as possible. So this is an assessment tool that I use with my clients, um, is to see how much range of motion you have in your shoulder joint. If you can't keep, if your hand can't even touch the wall as it comes down or at any point it comes off the wall, then that's an easy indication that you have some um, flexibility issues with your shoulders. So this is not only a little assessment tool, it's a great little exercise that you could do, like I said, at home or at the office, that is just more or less just to promote so-called optimal positioning of your shoulders. Because if you're flat up against the wall and there's, you don't come off the wall very much, that's an easy sign that you actually have good range of motion and your posture is probably better uh, or in a more optimal position than for an average person that slouches. Some people can't even touch their head on that or they, they have to do like this and they can barely stretch up. And I've seen that with all ages of individuals. So again, just a good little exercise. You could do 10 to 15 reps of that throughout the day, prior to workout, post-workout. But those are little things that could take three or four minutes to do and uh, can certainly aid in getting more flexibility through the shoulders, less stress on the neck, uh, well certainly all the front of the neck, the back of the neck, and then of course your shoulder and upper back muscles. So uh, hopefully, um, you know, if you find this a little bit helpful, then uh, certainly hit me up uh, just to say, hey,